splitting off a lot of cats and it's coming towards What's up YouTube run down here and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. If you enjoy the series, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more. Also, be sure to share this playlist and also the Elden Ring playlist so we could get a little love. So with all that being said, we'll just hop right into the gameplay. Looks like we're gonna have to swim through some swim through this lake just to uh we're going right over here right with that uh that complex should be test station ID. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. This might be where a boss fight happens. Whoa! We have no choice! It's one of those machines! We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. Yeah, I thought that that might have been the case. I see that you're not really messing with me, so... Let's see if I can set you on fire. Are you gonna let me... I guess not. I guess you're not gonna let me attack. Splitting off a lot of cats and it's coming towards me with it. All right, um, let's craft some more fire arrows to take it out. Oh, that's not what I want to do. like a gas it's like it had a gas leak Ooh, that's not good I'm gonna need you to get up no not really I can still see Alright, so 
Oh, I was not expecting that. Stand there and let me shoot you. It's like a glitch in the matrix. All right, if you're just gonna let me stand there and shoot you, and I'm all for it. You're just telling me where you are by knocking these trees over. Even though I can't see your health bar. I knew he was gonna eventually start attacking me if I broke something. out of the rope caster so I won't be using that this fight is taking a lot longer than I would like it to I don't have anything 
fire. What is that? Traps are OP. That was amazing. Uh, terrifying, but amazing. Woo, I got a metal flower. Get into testation ivy now. I wonder where that is. It's carrying one of the metal flowers. Is that how they've been distributed? Airdrops from these machines? Alright, so let's open this and get to the Perhaps test station. Data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus to see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station, Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Ah. Uh, huh. That might be worth a look sometime. Oh, wait, I could breathe underwater now, so it doesn't matter. This console's still operational. Uh, let's grab these collectibles first, and then we'll take a look at some of this. Doesn't look like there's anything else. All right, so Another let's log. look at this log. We're done in every way. The reeds work, and Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat them. Projections from U.S. Robot Command have sworn reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375 percent. Not even close. I guess we deserve this. I deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log. Traps made. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. Uh -huh. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one I leave here until I find what I mean. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Alright, let's go let's go to this workbench. So I can upgrade my Spear. Is there anything this way? No, nope, doesn't look like it. So, but onward we go. No, nope, there's a data log. I'll take that. And then, still nothing here. Let's open this 
door and we'll have to climb up. Of course we have right to behind climb. you. And of course we're always having to climb up. Nothing's really easy. We can use oh. the line to get down. It looks like a camp settlement. Oh, it all comes full circle, I see. Okay. Let's use this workbench. Yeah, I'm gonna skip your dialogue because I really want to get this uh, done. Let's go to special gear and vine cutter installed on the spear. Good. Now my spear is able to cut spot, cut not spines, vines, which is something the spear should have already been able to do. But better make haste. Now what? Uh. Now we get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. I don't know who you're calling barbarians, but I appreciate it. All right, so now let's open this. Oh, they're metal flower leaves. Let's see if the software works. So let's install this. So it's clear now. See, I wasn't really paying much attention. I didn't know that they were metal vines. The data court looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. Is he the one? Yes, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But it kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. I should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about... <laughs> Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. Divina. We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal, 
How long will it take? I don't know. A few months. Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Well, we got what we came here. Office says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Well, we got what we came here for anyway, so let's just head back to base. Yeah, I don't feel like going all the way through that, so we are just going to fast travel. Look at that. I traveled all the way there. Just fast travel to base, cause oof, that would have been one hell of a travel. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. Yep. Now it's time to put Demeter right back where he belongs. And we've recovered all three of them. Now we could get. Now we could go look for Hephaestus. Pretty sure we'll run into the Zeniths along the way. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be being cast, and the kernel you've been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual route. I'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport ring. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. 
Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. All of us said the Quinn have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. All right, it looks like it's time to get a promotion. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Did you know there used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet? Oh, that door is unlocked now. Yeah, this one? No, that's my room. It's my stash. That's where all my stuff is. All right, so let's... Restock. Doesn't really look like I have much to restock. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. We're learning a lot as we go. What is this? I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Okay. My old spear. Rust helped me make it when I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. All right. So let's go on ahead and you know what? let's pick up the side quest. Aloy. I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, uh, Reboot Code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then... Use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well. But 
Taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. Oh, how should I get going? Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. All right. Hey, getting some more supplies. I don't know about you guys, but I struggle. And I mean, I struggle with getting resources in order to crack. Like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Looks like the old one. Gaia, what was this room for? All kinds this was of intended to be a recreational room for All control world, center yeah. operatives. I have repurposed the displays to track Regal's activity in the region. A useful war map. Hmm. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaru sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal if you have a moment to spare all right what's this personal request you said there was something you wanted to talk about i've been speaking with gaia she mentioned that the zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger i was wondering if you'd help me do the same you want to make yourself a new arm yes Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. Definitely got to get his new arm because I know there's going to be a final fight. I'm pretty sure that new arm of his will definitely help out. But we're going to end the episode off right here. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more. Also, share. I'm, I'm just going to keep putting this. I'm just going to keep putting this in there oh i want you to share really emphasizing on the share part so with all that being said i'll catch y'all in the next one peace